Just excited to get back on the field. Um, we've worked hard all summer and spring, um, really since the season ended last year to get to this point. So I think all the guys are just excited to get back in the bill and um, be around the fans and just go out there and um, look to secure our first win of the season. And as a complete offensive unit, where do you think you guys got made the most improvement throughout the last month? Probably just our depth at um, positions everywhere. Uh, I feel like our running back room and receiver room is really deep this year. Um, and then like, we have a lot of offensive linemen that are young, in a sense, so where we have some, some new guys taking the field for us this year. But they did a really good job this spring um, and, and fall, and we're a lot deeper in, in those positions than, than people think. And then our quarterback room, we, we came together. Um, we, we, came, we came really close this fall camp, and those guys in there pushed me every day to, to be the best version of myself. So I really think um, we're, we're deeper than a lot of people might, might think. Um, no, just based on the fact that um, I've prepared for this moment my whole life, and um, if if I wasn't prepared, then there would probably be some nerves there. But I'm just I, I'm just super blessed to be able to go out there and, and you know be able to play the game that I love uh, and be able to play at a school like Kansas State where the fans um, have so much support. So I mean I, I don't feel like there's any pressure pressure there to go out. I just got to go out there and you know do what I've been doing my whole life, and that's just having fun playing the game. It's a bunch of fun. I mean, we have great coaches. I have a whole bunch of pieces around me that just go out, that make my job um, ten times easier when I go out there and play. So it's just pretty much just getting those guys the ball and letting them letting them do their thing from there. Avery, is there anything you're looking to prove to people this season as a quarterback? I feel like the the only battle is just you know me competing with myself every day, and um, I, I wouldn't say there's anything I have to prove to anyone because I know what I'm capable of, and and everybody inside this building knows what. Um, I can do whenever I have the football in my hand. So there's nothing really I have to prove to, to anybody or do this certain thing on the field to show that I'm this type of player. It's just going out there and playing my game. And at the end of the day, I just want to win football games. So whatever I, whatever I can do for the team to help us win. I also want to ask him about your offensive line. You lost a couple guys from last season, but uh, Hadley is back. I was wondering, is he, uh, what kind of presence he's been for the front five? He's been really a role model and a great leader. Um, I look to to him at at times whenever I get frustrated, and you know he helps calm me down, and um, the vice versa. If ever if he has anything that he ever needs to get off his chest, he can come to me and talk to me about it. So it's great having um, a leader right there next to me at when, whenever we take the field. But I definitely think he's been doing his part and um, helping those guys get those younger guys get ready for the season. <laughs> Yeah, I love those guys, and a lot of times, you know, people can kind of overlook, um, you know, the depth and growth we've made at tight end. But I feel like that we Kansas State as a whole does a really good job of, you know, developing tight ends and, um, you know, getting our tight ends involved in the game plan. So I definitely think we're a lot deeper than people might um, give us credit for. But we have some some really good guys that can not only catch passes but really help us in the run game um, as far as blocking. I know it's still early. Yeah, they're they're a really talented team, and you know people don't give them um, enough credit for that. They they won a, a bunch of games last year um, and were really successful. So they have uh, a lot of talented pieces um, at, at all levels, um, secondary, front line, and um, even second level. They have a, a lot of talented guys. It's just kind of going out there and um, you know kind of letting Coach Riles and Coach Wells kind of game plan and scheme them up, and then you know giving my two cents here and there whenever they ask for it. Um, I feel like really the, the biggest person is DJ Giddens and everybody, every K-State fan knows how talented um, DJ is, but I feel like he doesn't get talked enough, uh, talked about enough on a national level. 
DJ is one of the best, if not the the best running back in, in college football, and nobody gives him um, enough credit for that. And it might just be because he just kind of goes about his business in, in a different way, but uh, he's special when he gets the ball in his hands. And um, I, I really think he's going to have a, a great year for us and just continue to you know be himself on Saturdays. Avery, when you have gone good on good against the defense, how tough were they to compete against when you go up against them? <laughs> Yeah, our, our defense is, is really tough just because um, how many people we brought back and how experienced they are and how much college football that those those guys have played. So they gave they did a great job of mixing up a whole bunch of different looks for me um, this, this spring and, and fall. And I got to take a bunch of different snaps and, and reps against um, some of the, the better defenders in this league. And luckily, I get to go up against them every day in practice. So. Um, they definitely pre presented a whole bunch of different challenges to me, but being able to, to get that in, in training camp would definitely help me as the season goes on. And with this being your first start, is there extra people coming from home to see you in your, in your first start or anything? Um, to be honest, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I kind of just kind of let my parents handle all that, and then if, if people do end up showing, then showing up, then um, I'll see them after the game. But pretty much I kind of just handle out of my friends um, who's going to come to the game. And I have a handful of friends that are going to come up and make it to my first start. But as far as different type of family members, I know my grandpa will be here and uh, and my, my parents and, and brother. So other than that, I couldn't tell you. We'll finish up with Wyatt. Avery, just real quick, I, I would like for you, if you would, to describe for us what it was like getting to know Matt Wells in the beginning and what your relationship is like now after these months. Yeah, it's kind of weird because the first time I talked to him was after the bowl game. Um, and I was actually in Puerto Rico. I talked to him on FaceTime. And I feel like it just kind of clicked right from there because he kind of um, was giving me, you know, uh, kind of a rundown of, you know, what he was excited for and, and different type of stuff like that. So whenever we did hire him, I was, I was really excited that we got um, – a mind like Coach Wells, and then just kind of growing with them through the spring and, and fall. It's weird because whenever I have some, a play that that I, I take a rep and I'm like, okay, I need to talk about this play after, or I have a question about a play, I'll come to the sideline and I'll ask him about the question, and nine times out of ten he has the same question written down. So it's like um, we're always on the same page, and um, it's almost like he's reading my mind out there at, at some times, and that's definitely a great position to be in with your offense coordinator or co-offense coordinator. Thanks, sir. All right, Avery, thanks.